as well tonight. The playoffs kick into full gear tomorrow, but four area teams start their postseason under the lights tonight. We've got highlights from all four of them, starting in Class 2A with top seed and undefeated Pena. Welcoming in Arthur Lovington at Wood Hammond. The break free here from Austin Hinchin for the big first down to set up Max Lynch with the QB keeper for the score. More from Lynch later. This time the junior hits Kyle Kuhn for a touchdown wide open in the back of the end zone. Scoring not a problem in this one here is ALAH's Caden Fagan. He starts at the six. He is dragging defenders all the way into the Panthers end zone. He is in for the score going 94 yards but it's not enough. Pano wins 49-19 to advance. Meanwhile, Sacred Heart Griffin playing in Class 4A after the IHSA did not extend its multiplier for non-boundary schools. The Cyclones hosting Columbia. They got off to a little bit of a rough start. Columbia gets two sacks and a row to force a turnover on downs, but then SHG gets going. Receiver Maddox Morris holding on to that catch to make it 28-6. More from SHG. Another score on the board here. Brett Puckle runs it in to make it 35-6 at that point in the third quarter, and they roll 49-13 to advance. Meanwhile, speaking of scoring points, not a problem up in 6A. Springfield did a long trip to Rock Island. The Senators and Rocks pull 6-3, and, and both teams have little trouble putting up points. Rutgers commit Rashad Rochelle hits Antoine Aldward in stride for the score. Pretty play gets the Senators on the board. Then Springfield goes to work in the ground game. Tyree Coleman hits the hole, finds nothing but fresh Quad Cities air. Our lead producer, Scott Andreessen, would say it's God's country up there in Rocktown. More for Michelle, who calls his own number a little later for six more. This one's still going 74 to 56. That's not a basketball score. They are playing football there in the Rocks.